Hello Africa is another episode of African Student Voices on AAU TV and don't forget AAU TV is the voice of higher education in Africa and we are coming to you live from the headquarters of the Association of African Universities here in Accra, Ghana. My name is Jimai Madala Dentuchi and I'll be your host. Today we are discussing the impact of strike actions on student um, academic performance and I have here with me lovely guests who I'm going to introduce after the break. Don't also forget to join in the conversation on our social media handles, Association of African Universities on Facebook and YouTube, AAU TV underscore African Universities on Twitter and AAU TV official on Instagram. We'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. And if you just joined us, this is African Student Voices on AAU TV. And today we are discussing the impact of strike actions on student academic performance. I have here with me lovely guests who I'm going to give a minute to introduce themselves. I'll start from the lady. Okay, so my name is Vera Apiakran, a level 300 student of University of Ghana reading biological science. Okay, you're welcome, Vera. Thank you so Thank much. You my name is Levan Oponsiam, a level 400 student of the University of Ghana reading BSc education in mathematics. Okay, you're both welcome. Thank you. So um, today, as you know, we are discussing the impact of strike action on student um, academic performance. But first of all, I want to know, um, what were your initial thoughts when um, UTAC, which is the University Teachers Association of Ghana, announced um, their recent, um, announced recently that they were embarking on a strike? I'll start with the lady there. Okay, so for me, I wouldn't say I was surprised okay. because in the course of last year, yes. there was a strike. Yes. And then it was supposed to carry on till the end of the year. Okay. But I know for my university, that's University of Ghana, mm -hmm. hadn't completed most of its academic activities. Yeah. And so there were some deliberations to shift it into the next academic year so as to finish last year's yes. work. Okay. And so I was anticipating a strike because right. I think upon deliberations, there needs had not been met oh, yeah, and so it was true. something that we expected to happen okay. this year okay. so I wasn't so surprised, surprised but then yes every student will feel down when yeah, a strike is announced strike. even though others will be happy exactly yes, <laughs> <laughs> so that um, they can have time to do other stuff other things yes. that's true so what were your initial thoughts all right so um, University Teachers Association of Ghana popularly yeah. known as UTAG yeah. is um, an association that consists of Yes, comprises of public university lecturers. Okay. At the initial stages of the strike, mm -hmm. students were exceedingly happy. They were joyful. They actually supported okay. the movement. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I believe emphatically that um, it differs from student to student. Because at okay. the initial stages of the strike, at the press mm -hmm. of the strike, there were other universities who had their same own goal. Okay. Okay. So I believe to those students who are in these universities, they have been greatly affected and then um, aggrieved by the okay. ongoing strike. Yesterday, I think I, inter I had a chat, chat with one friend of mine okay. who I was asking her how she feels. And she says, initially, she was very excited. She supported yeah, the movement. Yeah. But then, um, right now, she feels as if her time has been eaten into it. That's and true. I side with her, her time has been wasted. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I side with her because now, we have students who have some futuristic jobs that are marked by age. That's true. Okay, so in as much as some students are happy, mm -hmm. others are aggrieved by the ongoing strike. Okay, yeah. so what are some of the reasons why um, UTAG is on strike, or let me say lecturers go on strike? All right, so now UTAG, just as any other association, goes yeah. on strike or embarks on strike for numerous reasons. Okay. It's been monetary, maybe infrastructure, yeah. or maybe many, many reasons, per se. Okay. But according to UTAG, okay, yes. the strike action was in response to the worsening conditions of services of the university, university teachers, teachers and also the failure for the government to actually address their predicament okay. you gave me yes, at the stipulated time. But right. some students also believe that um, UTAG embarked on the strike because government, the inability of government, government to actually pay their allowance. Okay. Whatever be the case, mm -hmm. I believe that the discrepancies on the government side mm -hmm. to actually solve or address UTAG issues Problems. is very abysmal, yeah. detrimental, and nothing to write That's about. That's true. Yeah. Um, Vera, let me come to you. When all, um, let me say, when all solutions um, are exhausted, right now, um, upon made uh, mention that sometimes as monetary issues and all that and last year somewhere last year the government um, said he was going to you know meet with youth Act so that everything could could solve but up to now things are not still getting solved so what is it that is still pushing them well i feel like um 
a strike is more or less like a refusal to work. That's true. After mm -hmm. a series of protests, and that's yeah. like the highest form. Okay, you push me to do something, I keep doing it, demanding for something in return. Yeah. And then my needs are never met. You keep promising me to yes. do it, keep promising me to yeah. do it. And then now I say, okay, I think you are capitalizing on the fact that I always come to work despite my predicament. Yes. But now I'm saying that I'm not going to come at all. Mm -hmm. So you realize it, yes, that this is why I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you can tackle it. Yes, so I think the government true. is aware okay. and they are doing all what they can to do. Mm -hmm like to make yeah. the lecturers come back on track. Okay. But then just to put in, I actually side with the lecturers because um, okay. if you look at the COVID-19, right? Yeah. When we came back, University of Ghana for once did this modular cohort thing. Yeah. And so if you critically examine that um, system of education, the lecturers didn't really have time to rest. To rest. Yeah. Because true. when they deal with one cohort and mm -hmm. the cohort goes home, the second modular comes in they and they are to. working. Yes. Those students are resting, lecturers are working. And so I feel like in that time, everyone knows, yes, COVID brought a lot of hardship yes, and economic difficulties, but then there should be some appreciation to the lecturers because mm -hmm. if, if you critically look at it, they work throughout the year, yes, that's throughout. True. Yeah, so I feel like this fun. is also a time for them to rest. <laughs> <laughs> so they are using the strategy. Yes, yes. <laughs> I strongly <laughs> agree because even during the vacation, yes. what they have to do is to mark our scripts, yeah. make sure our grades are ready and ready all that and all before that. the next Semester. academic year. Yeah. And then this academic year, they haven't slacked because mm -hmm. majority of the departments have been given their timetables. Yes. Most of them, their course outlines, outlines have been released. Out. And yes. so they are doing what they can, just yeah. that the for teaching, no. It. They won't do no. it. <laughs> you know, when the news recently broke out that UTAG is on strike, um, was going on strike, a lot of students were happy. Yes. You know, on social media, I of saw course. a lot of comments and all that. What? Why? Uh, why do you think students were happy? Very I'll start from you. <laughs> students will obviously be happy because, you know, when you come to campus, there's a lot of stress once academic work starts. Okay. Because it's like back to back. So yeah. everyone, if it's not class, then it's IAs yeah. or something. So you're always on that. the move. Yeah. And so when there's free time. There's a lot of time to do extracurricular <laughs> activities, those yeah. who are going on trips, yeah. those who want to meet Have up with old friends, and exactly. That. And then it's like absence of academic work and they are not home too. Mm -hmm. You know, most of them have restrictions at home. Yeah. So once so you're on campus, on there's freedom. <laughs> and then you don't have any class to attend. Yeah, you don't have anything so to do, basically. Everything. You but then once it, it kept going on and on and on, mm. we are getting bored. Yes, everyone Because, is. like, how much fun can you have? Exactly. Uh, how, how many trips can you go <laughs> on? They are getting tired. So... That is what okay, is happening so now. All right, so now, um, first of all, I want to talk about the accommodation issues in the University of Ghana. Okay. okay. So now, people, every year, the University of Ghana face this problem where okay. students fight for horse and then they do not get yes. the game. So this is actually an extra time for them to sort out to their sort accommodation out. issues. Oh, okay. That's the first thing. And then secondly, I feel students are naturally lazy. Mm -hmm. You get me? So uh, it is as if it's a dream come true for them <laughs> that lectures <laughs> Our our strike. Strike. So they will yes. praise you, support you, support the, the movement and everything, <laughs> whilst they use the, that extra time to sort out their own things. Okay, all right. So do you think the strike is having any um, positive impact on students? Oh, yes, I believe it, it, it is. Okay, okay so. yes, it is having, just as I said earlier, yeah. for ac accommodation, because there are people in Kumase, uh, mm -hmm. Brown, Hafu, and all, who, who keep on calling me, seeking for ac accommodation. accommodation. Okay, so I think that is that has been an extra time for them to actually sort to out those issues. And then mm -hmm. also for those who are doing their project works and all, yeah, I think it's an extra time for yeah, them, to, to, give them yes, yeah. to cover up things that they, they haven't, haven't done. done. So I believe the, the strike has had both positive and the negative, negative impact. Oh, okay. again, but it, it depends on where you are, you are and what you are doing as at the time it happened. Okay, Vera, would yeah. you like to add something? Now I would like to add something to okay. that. So if you want to look at the positive impact, it's not only limited to the final years who have to do a lot of mm -hmm. work. There are people who are continuing students having had much time to commit to studies yeah. okay and they feel like okay pending people people who have resets mm -hmm. the people who have other things yeah, to do on to campus do. and so this is the time where they are working and the clubs associations mm -hmm. on campus like so um, mm -hmm. um, sports and all, yeah, all of that true. they have the time now to work a lot because when the lecture starts you can't really say okay let's meet at 3 p.m because mm -hmm. someone might yeah. have a class yeah, so right true. now we know there's a lot of free time yeah. to do a lot of oh, things yes sense. that's what i like uh, but do you think students solidarize with um university staff when they're on strike vera hmm. do they really sympathize with them in a way i do okay but i don't do know because others. i try to put myself in a position where if my father was a lecturer yes. has been teaching all year through mm -hmm. and 
the house is still not okay yeah. it's not comfortable mm -hmm. and we don't even get to see him That's when he true. comes he sleeps and then the following day he has he to get back to work and he has been working throughout yeah. and then now we, he's demanding with his colleague um, yeah. lecturers that okay let's do it this way and then he comes home yes i'll be happy because i get to see my father of course yes <laughs> and then then he gets to rest and if you look yeah. at the age range of most of our lecturers yeah, they are they are very they are old, very old and they have a lot of um illnesses or mm -hmm. sickness or conditions at that this point that to. attack them at yeah, this age so they true. need rest mm -hmm. and so I, I sympathize with them i <laughs> sympathize i don't want to really pressure them because yeah, they're aged that's true. <laughs> even the young ones because of the caliber of their work they yes. tend to grow that's even true. though they are not they're that not old that yes so i sympathize with them okay Open, would you like to add something? oh yes i would like to add something i think i i i, I side with, with her, her. Because, okay. because, because now lecturers most most lecturers are uh, at their old ages yes. okay so this is actually a time for them to, 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 rest. to rest okay okay, yes. okay so um what happens when students embark on strike you know it's not only lectures who yeah. do embark on strike so what happens when students also do that all right so now when we talk about student strike or campus protest yes. okay i believe it's a form of student activism okay, okay that indicates students dissatisfaction on either political or yeah. academic issues okay. okay so this mobilization is actually done to communicate Okay. to the school authorities that mm -hmm. they are dissatisfied or they are dismayed by About some issues that is on, ongoing yeah. on campus. Okay. Do you get me? Yeah. But the irony of this, now the, the question is what happens when students embark on strike? Yes. The irony here is when students embark on strike, mm -hmm. they are the most affected. Well, yes. It's because, not the lecture. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, management okay, comes to work even when students are not yeah, on that's true. campus. And mm -hmm. then once lec a lecturer is ready to teach, the government is going they to pay them. That's true. Whether again, the lecturer teaches, yes, teaches or, not, or not, the government is going to still pay them. Pay. So I believe yeah. that when students go on strike, they are the most affected. Mm -hmm. You get me? But then probably they are going on strike based on a uh, uh, reason that is very important, important to them. them. Okay. But then, but then that means they are missing. Yes, yes, they missing. yes, they are. So okay. if they do, it affects them. All right, Vera, so what are some of the reasons why students embark on strike, even though he has given a general view of Okay, that. if students should embark on strike, it yeah. shouldn't be um, more or less like um, economic reasons. Okay. I feel like students should embark on strike if, for example, there are not enough facilities mm -hmm. to carry out teaching and learning. Yes. Okay. For example, those who use laboratories, those who have to do a lot of experiments, yeah. they are not having them, and then you expect them to practicalize the course. What? And yes. so if they say they're not coming to class, it makes a lot of sense. Well, but then yes. it, it always goes against the students if a student true. should embark on mm -hmm. strike. And also maybe if they are not um, so much, um, how will I say, it, uh, the environment is not that conducive, conducive for enough. class yeah. and, and all that. Then students can say they are going on strike. But even that, that should be in extremities. Mm -hmm. I feel like students, all we have to do is to continue doing our demonstrate peaceful demonstrations, demonstrations. to right. voice out right. genuine concerns. Yeah. Because when it comes to the issue of strike, I think it's like extreme. Yes, if you want to strike, you are going to you are hurting <laughs> yourself. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, so do you think in this case, do you think uh, management will support student strike or they support student strike? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't so. think because so. Because uh, you're at the loss. Student, mm -hmm. the, students the students are lost. Is always at the loss. students are lost. And besides, you have paid your fees. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, they go on strike during the vacation <laughs> and they don't meet deadlines <laughs> for payment of fees. Oh, and no, but that know, doesn't Africa, make any sense. meet the deadline. <laughs> so it doesn't really work that way. So I don't think management actually supports a student a strike. student strike. You know, there is a statement here um, that was made by the lead convener of Coalition of Concerned University Student. Um, Kofi George Ibua, he said the ongoing strike will um, um, force students to demonstrate if the government fails to meet lecturers' demand. What do you make of the statement? Oh, yes, okay. I believe students would demonstrate because just as I said earlier, mm -hmm. some people have some futuristic jobs that are marked by age. Yes. Okay, so the ongoing jo um, strike has become an encumbrance in our day-to-day -day activities. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I believe if students are fed up, just yeah. as students are as as it stands now yeah. because we have students in ucc upsa um gtu and all who are now fed up yes they were actually in their semester mm -hmm. when a strike came oh okay you get me and yes. then we have some level hundreds who have paid exorbitant fees ac ac academic and then hostel fees mm -hmm. and then they want to enjoy yes. the school life and now they are there and then they are being deprived of all this mm -hmm. okay so i believe when students become um uh, extremely agitated yeah. then they would go on strike okay yes Okay, Vera, let me come to you. What do you Personally, make if there's a demonstration announced on campus for concerned students, mm -hmm. myself, I won't be there. Why? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a matter of 
management or staff mm -hmm. and the government. Yes. And more or less, like, we are being updated whenever there is a deliberation and the outcome. Yeah. But it's not in getting any better. It's Let not getting any better. Can I can I add something? Here? Okay. All right. So now, even though the fight is between uh, the, the, and the, the, government. the government and the management, yeah. who is being affected here? It is the, the students. No, no, no. Okay, the uh, yes, those who are affected. Those who are being the affected students. Is the students. Yes. Okay, you get because a lecturer would, would would have other side jobs. Then That's just true. That Mostly that, they have side that jobs. That's going to give him income. Yes. You get me, but what about the students? the students? I come, I bring my son to, to the university, I pay ex exorbitant school fees, mm -hmm. and then my son, my son fees is and yes, everything. And he's on campus, I call my son, hey, how are things going? Oh, Dad, we are just, we are just house, there. Oh. How? <laughs> you get me? So, so, even though the fight is between them, mm -hmm. we, are being, we are being affected. We are the third party yes. here who are being affected. So, yeah. I believe, and then um, it's, not, it's not as if the whole university should, should go on strike, okay. but people who believe they have voices in the school can go on strike. That is what I was going to say. That okay. If the whole university, like students, should now uh, parade the whole campus mm -hmm. and shout, 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 most of the lecturers are not even on campus again. They are, not they are going on vacation. <laughs> yes. So it's like, if you are doing that, it's more or less like cost 90. Yeah. Yes. You're just going to yeah. waste your time, your time over and your energy yes. and resources and, and, so and all that. It is going to send a message to the government. That but it won't, less, do, it won't I, do, I do anything. Like it won't I feel do like it won't do anything. It, it is actually going to do something. I'm telling you, if students are to stand up right now, okay. oh, come on. It will get there. Shake the ground. How long have students demonstrated, exactly. and how They've many times have on their issues, on issues been met? It hasn't yeah. been met. Well, fine, but because they feel like this is. In fact, if I was in government, I'll be like, this is an issue between me and my father, and, exactly. and you are shouting. <laughs> you, well, you have well, a voice well, to this well, step, exactly. but then I can't solve it because of fine, you. Fine, fine, but then let's say my father pays my school fees, and then my father yeah. works with you, and then you are not paying my daddy. Mm -hmm. You get me. It well, affects us, okay, affects, and then mm -hmm. and then the family as well. Yeah. Okay, this is not only affecting the, 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 the lecturer, lectures, but then the but students as well. Family yes, and the, their families that, and all that. Mm -hmm. And also, it is affecting our future. That's not true. to even talk about COVID nineteen, which has which has been a, been a hindrance, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. in our day to day activities. This disrupted our teaching and learning okay. procedures. So it's as if we are moving from frying pan to fire here. <laughs> when we thought COVID nineteen was 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 over, cases mm -hmm. were reduced. Now it's all, now everything we are everything else. By strike. <laughs> But yeah, for so the demonstration, I'm not for it because I know how students are. Even our, our um, uh, SRC elections yeah. that went on. You know how students behave yes. when it comes yes. to yes. demonstrations. The, the, the vandalism is too much. Too much. Yeah. Because true. students have m like nothing or nothing to lose. Fine. Yeah, yeah yes. that's nothing true. to lose. Fine. Most of them don't have children. Mm -hmm. Most of them don't have spouses. <laughs> so if it's about fighting and disturbing and destroying and distracting, then they will surely, do it. They'll surely do it. But, but they I should, feel they like students that need they will this. Still be the one to pay yeah, for those course. infrastructure. Yes, but then, but then, as uh, still a stance that government should see to it that it resolves its issues with Utah. Well, just, the government will. Yes, just so as um, the, the the industrial actions wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's again. true. Yes, that's it's as simple as that. Okay, yeah, so sure. the conversation is getting quite interesting. We'll go for a quick break, and when we come back, we'll continue with it. Welcome back from the break, and this is African Student Voices on AAU TV, and we are discussing the impact of strike action on student academic performance. And we were having an interesting conversation. So now I want us to talk about the impact of um, strike actions on student academic performance. How does it um, affect students? And um, Vera, I think I'll start from you. Okay, so there are certain courses in the university that okay. are progressive. Okay. Progressive meaning you may have foundation of that course and then the second semester you do okay. a build up on, on that, that course. course. And so in instances like this, mm -hmm. When they have the foundation built already, yeah. and then the strike comes, it gaps it. Yes, By the time true. they will resume academic work, mm -hmm. most of them have lost or are trailing yeah. in the knowledge of their course. That's true. And so I feel like, yes, the strike has an impact mm -hmm. negatively on academic work. Yeah. No two ways about that. Yes, negatively true. on academic work. Poor, 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 poor. Because... <sighs> If you look at last semester's strike, last yes. academic year strike, mm -hmm. it came in the middle of, of the, the semester. semester. And so when it resumed, it was examination period. Mm -hmm. And they had to just write, whether you know or, or you, you don't know, know. <laughs> you write. But then luckily or fortunately for us, mm -hmm. I would say we hadn't begun with any academic work. Okay. And so it's like just space. Yeah. But who knows? 
when it comes back, they may cramp it from 13 weeks to yeah, six weeks. That's true. Who knows? Because and that is negatively is going to affect us. We that's thought, true. okay, back to the regular semester will help us to keep up with the keep academic up, work yes. again. Because the six weeks was hell. Yeah, that's true. And so I feel like, yes, it has a very negative impact on academic okay. work. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fong. All right, so um, I would like to touch on what she said. You okay. know, you are a student. Mm -hmm. A student, you need to learn whether that's or true. not you're on campus. Whether mm -hmm. or not they're striking you to learn. Yeah. So it is your duty to actually learn. Mm -hmm. So if you should, if lectures are to resume and then you go sit at the lecture hall and tell a lecturer, oh, lecturer, you see you are on strike, so we didn't, we didn't learn anything. This is going, this is going to go work against you. That's true. Now, I read an article from um, 3 News Ghana, okay, okay, where they had sampled students f ac across the public universities, okay, mm -hmm. from UCC, UPSC, I think, K University, and then GTU. Okay. Now, I would, I would like to group my statement to two okay financial and mm -hmm. then also the academics okay. now when it comes to financial they interviewed a lady from ucc who actually made mention that when she's coming to school mm -hmm. the money given to her for her expenditure is calculated according to the week she's come to spend on campus wow you get me yeah. so that should tell you that mm -hmm. right now she's on campus spending the money yeah, without the semester without ongoing that's true it is going to dawn back on the parents yeah. to give fund or more. yes give her more money mm -hmm. Okay, for her expenditure, and, yes. and then that is a problem. And then also in K K University, they made mention that they had exhausted their semester, and then they were waiting a week to write their exams. Yeah, I heard that too. Do you mm -hmm. get me? Now, in this period, okay, there's something called Halawa Week, yeah. where students have spent almost all Everything. their money and waiting to write their exams and, and then, then go home to the house. Do you get me? And then this has become some students are stranded right now; they yeah. don't know what to do. That's true. Now, back to the academics. If you should look at the um, University of Ghana, our mm -hmm. academic calendar, if you yes. compare it to that of UPSC, okay. you would realize that we are a SEM behind. Okay. Okay? Yes. yes. And that was caused by the COVID. COVID. Okay, which was an arbitrage on our next and the yes. structured learning and environment and procedures. Yes. Again, so even before the strike, we are a SEM behind. Mm -hmm. Again, and, and now the strike. Yes, and now the strike. Now, <laughs> We are, we are coming to spend, I think, 13, 13 to 14 weeks okay. on campus. We would vacate second meal or so. Now, okay. if the strike is to be called off, two things. It is either one, we continue, we are in our third week, yeah. okay? We continue with it, with it, mm -hmm. and that would that would <laughs> that would actually affect students. That's yeah. true. Because now students will be pressured to actually learn. To learn. You get me. You know, when you take a, a lesson plan, a lesson plan has units. Mm -hmm. You get me. So let's say if the fourteen weeks you are to cover uh, fifteen units, okay, you would be pressured to to finish, to, to finish all that between the stipulated time. Yeah. You get me. Aside from that, if they are to extend it, let's say um, if if the strike is to end. Mm -hmm. maybe this week, yes. then the academic semester is to begin Next week. The, the following week. Mm -hmm. Then they would extend the academic yeah, that's year. True. And Don't it is going to. to eat into people's mm -hmm. time because now people, university students, some work yes, and fend for them for them themselves. themselves. You yes. So it is going to actually affect them on that side. Mm -hmm. You get me? So yeah. the strike has really affected students. It wow. has really, really affected students. Okay. University students actually haven't experienced it because they are now coming to actually coming. begin. Yes, they are mm -hmm. now actually coming to begin the, the, the semester. semester. Okay, and then also <laughs> talking about um, graduates. Yes. For for those who just graduated. Yes. Okay. Now there are people who haven't seen some grades. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there are people who yeah, are still doing too. their project work. That's true. You get me. So mm -hmm. this has become a hindrance yeah. for them. They can't even graduate. They can't and can go forward. Graduate and exactly. You get me. So mm -hmm. now um, I think with the with the last graduation they mm -hmm. were like they would do another one for the second okay. batch yes oh really yes you wow. get me and then now the strike now the strike <laughs> so this is actually going to eat into their time yeah yes and it, it, it has affected a lot of students a wow. lot so so let me see what kind what kind of category of student does this really affect is it the undergraduates the postgraduates the researchers or i want to know which uh, what part of uh, what category of students now if you should think outside affect? the box actually you would mm -hmm. realize that it has affected everybody okay no because exception. undergrads Undergrad, post postgraduate, mm -hmm. sandwich students, distance students. For the sandwich and in the distance, yeah. after we are done with our semester, yeah, they, come. they come. So yes, so it is going to push them back. That's okay. True. So mm -hmm. once they strike, it will affect everybody. everybody. 
<laughs> Vivian, yes. Okay, Vera, would you like to add something? Yes, everyone is affected, actually. And if you look at the undergraduates, mm -hmm. if you look at the first years who have no idea about how this yeah. university Everything thing goes, works. they are lost. If yes. you see them on campus right now, they are just walking yeah, about it. Very, very lost. <laughs> the level 400 students, too, some of them actually were given topics yep. for their projects yes. and oh, all that. Okay. And yes. so there's no supervision. Mm -hmm. They don't have any supervisor to carry on the work. So they are just there. Wow. If you look at 200 and 300, maybe mm -hmm. I'll say, yes, it affects academic work. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then... You guys are yeah, just okay. there. <laughs> yes. Yes. For first yes. years, yes. no idea about this university. That's Final true. years, they are finishing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you know that already last year, the national service postings delayed, delayed. delayed. because yeah, of the COVID. To, yeah. And now, yeah, now strike two is coming. Okay. And these people are like, we're anticipating they'll be done soon so yes. that the next batch can go. And the next batch is not even in school. Yes. Wow. So this is interesting. Uh, uh, yes, it will affect everything. Even, even looking at things. We are in our third week. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we should exhaust the 21 ultimatum, yeah. then schools would have to close down. That's true. You get That's me? True. And, mm -hmm. and then it is, it is very sad. The government should hear our cry and our plea and do something about this. Wow, this is really interesting. Yeah. But, Vera, let me come to you. In a, in a scenario where you, you return home um, due to a prolonged strike action by lecturers, how does that affect your home environment? How do your parents react? Hmm. Yes. This one this is thing. quite just now. <laughs> They'll be disturbed. Yes. Very disturbed. Mm -hmm. Because um, they have actually sent you, sent money. Yes. And all of that, taking care of you for some time. Mm -hmm. And then you come back home saying, we did nothing. Yes, yes. Your yes. money was, in quote, useless. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm back home. Take care of me again. Yes. <laughs> Even though I have paid accommodation for you, yes, I have paid, and is accommodation is more like, more or less like your water bill, your and everything, everything. Mm -hmm. for you, you alone. Mm -hmm. They've sorted everything out for you. Go and live here, and now they push you back home because School we are on strike. Not School is okay. not in session. Every parent will be disturbed, wow. except for selfish in quote parents mm -hmm. who want their children around them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so whether strike or, or no, no strike, strike ah. she's happy the, the child is yes. home. Yes. So what do you have to now? Um, when, when we talk about parents' assertions on this, yeah, okay, I, I, I believe parents have this stereotype that okay. lecturers have money. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's then I think true. they compare the JHS school, their mm -hmm. systems to the university. Okay, now some parents actually think that the university pays the teachers. Okay. Which is never true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they are on a government payroll. Yeah, that's true. You get me. So mm -hmm. now, some parents will be like, "Oh, lecturers, we cry. It's your school fees, ah. Yeah. Still now. Yeah. Oh. So, oh. Still going on strike. Exactly. Yeah, still going on strike. Like. So, 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 parents don't actually look at the government mm -hmm. as a problem yes. in this, but they look at the lecturers, the lecturers as, a as a problem and the institution. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That is what parents actually think. They think, oh, lecturers say, ah, I think I have money. So where does all our so fees go to? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. That's, that's the question, the question they, they So are we not ask. paying fees? And Besides, there has been an increment in yes. the fees. in the fees Both now. Both accommodation yes. and tuition. Yes. So, there has been an so increment high. in the fees. So, so where does the, the money, money go? <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> so we, 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 we leave that question to the various universities. <laughs> but uh, then I want us to also um, talk about, um, do you think or um, do you think that students' voices have been sought for? Let me say through a or nukes on the strike action by lecturers prior or during the strike action? Let's stop for maybe I'll start. All right, so now I believe mm -hmm. students' voices have been heard. Okay? okay, students are granting interviews, they are speaking to journalists and yes, all that. So students that. are being interviewed on what is happening. Okay. okay, so students' voices have been heard. But the actual question is has it had an impact, impact. on That's the, the strike? Yes, that no, question. it hasn't. Not at all. It hasn't. If it has, then we wouldn't still. Be experiencing yeah, this. the strike. Do you get me? So, mm -hmm. for the voice, th th they've heard it, mm -hmm. but it hasn't had any, any impact, impact okay. on the strike. Yes. Okay. So Where if we, uh, l l let me attack you here. Okay. So, <laughs> if, if, so if the voices have not, they have not done anything about it, mm -hmm. is it demonstration that they will listen? Oh yes. You then, know. Then, then we would have to do that. Demonstration doesn't go anywhere. We would have to do that. It won't, would, it won't work. We would, oh, come more on. or less, we like you see, this SRC and Nukes and other student leaders, more or less. um Tell us they are the bridge between us mm -hmm. and then management, management. and even government. government. Because that's if you look true. at NUCS, it's not just limited yeah, to one institution. It looks like the whole Ghana mm -hmm. University yes, Student yes, Association, yes, yes, more yes. or less like. They have and about so 15 branches. If they are not listening to their subordinates or their representative yeah, on campus, it is not the common floor member they will listen <laughs> to. I think, <laughs> I think, I think they, are, they, they are going to, you know, just as I was saying, yeah. voices 
have 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 been spoken. Okay. okay. Students who believe they have voices have spoken, mm -hmm. but it hasn't had an impact. So you think demonstration? Yes. Would... So me personally, I think when when we, we move a step further from <laughs> from our comfort <laughs> home okay. onto the street, yeah. then they would hear us. Okay. Oh, you know, <laughs> but you know, I doubt. You know, I doubt. They would. You know, you know, people people are actually attracted to negative things and violence. Yes, and then violence. Mm -hmm. yes. So so they would tend to act quick. Because when, there is violence. Yeah, because there is violence. And that is just, yeah. it's just going to be because of the adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. They just want the excitement. Some That's of them are just happy. <laughs> like there's noise yeah. so, and we are shouting so, that. So, uh, like so, I teachers mean, if, and all that. So if student voices have been heard, but impact has We should, we should been leave been. that so to if, the student if, leaders. If we should leave that to them. At least they have a formal way of going about it. We should hit the roads. Then... Oh, investees in Ghana oh. hits the road. Oh, Come no. on. Wow. No, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. The way Vera is laughing, she <laughs> no. just doesn't They will not be there. <laughs> she wouldn't be there. She wouldn't be there. But then, students who are concerned. Okay. So, so um, we are almost coming to the end of yeah, um, okay. our interview. But then I want to know what proposals um, do students have to reduce such things from happening in their universities? Vera, I think I'll start from you. What do you think? What do you think students can do to help, even though I don't know how they're going to help, though, but how, what mm. do you think they can do to, you know, um, stop or reduce such um, strike actions? I would say there's one um, important or one thing. salient way yeah. for students to okay. help this strike thing to not yeah. happen again. Okay. And then, I mean, in, if your lecturer finds it interesting mm -hmm. with your class, you know, mm -hmm. you respect him, yeah. you appreciate him as and when, when you are not... When he's not coming to class, he somehow feels yeah. like, oh, my students, my oh, my students. My students. Oh, then, okay. I think that's all I can say. <laughs> I mean, we should learn to appreciate them appreciate when they're them. around. Because okay. you never know what you have until yeah. you lose it. Mm -hmm. So now that they are gone, we are feeling it. Yeah, we need them it. back. That's but when true. they come, we'll start bashing them. That's we'll start no, we'll not go to class and <laughs> yeah. all that. So the student behavior, okay. we can't do much about that. Okay, Mr. Pong. All right, so I believe that mm -hmm. a way in which students, or a proposal which students can actually use to... Yeah reduce future industrial actions yes. to communicate okay. with the management mm -hmm. okay pour down their hearts let them know what is happening to the students okay okay let them mm -hmm. know that we are going through pain yes do you get me mm -hmm. we are facing a lot mm -hmm. this is not only affecting us but yeah. our parents that's true and our future mm -hmm. so they should actually think about us okay and mm -hmm. resolve their issues okay yes. so um lastly what do you, what would you recommend Vera, i'll come to you what would you recommend your fellow student do during strike actions okay so what i would say is mm -hmm. if you find yourself on campus mm -hmm. and then you are facing the strike i know most of us are yeah um aside um finding something academically to read any yeah. academic material in your course mm -hmm. or in another jurisdiction, just yeah. get yourself acquainted with the system. Oh For level 100s, you don't know how it's run. Mm -hmm. Consult your seniors. Let yes. them tell you, okay, this is how it's done here. Mm -hmm. Get acquainted with the system. Visit the various lecture halls yes. because mm -hmm. when the t it comes back to um, learning, they're not going to tell you when you get here, 10 yes. left. No, they just That's put the lecture true. hall there. Get acquainted, get familiar with the lecture halls mm -hmm. to the other um, uh, if you have any recreational thing you want to do on campus, there are other yeah, directorates on campus, it. sports, you can involve yourself in anything. Mm -hmm. This is the time, because yeah. when the lecture starts, you can't. You can't. Right. You so I think I would use this platform mm -hmm. to reassure each and every student, mm -hmm. to all those who have been affected, to all those who have been aggrieved, mm -hmm. and to those who are happy yeah. that all internal and external mechanisms and other options yes. are being explored to actually get our lecturers back into our classrooms. Okay. But this is an extra time for us mm -hmm. to actually um, sort out our accommodation issues, yeah. to finish that book review and reading, yes. to go over that slides, okay. to get that income, mm -hmm. to get entangled to that love life we got ourselves yes. into. And with one heart and mind, let's pray that government resolves its issues yes. with UTAC. Okay. If not, <laughs> then tomorrow we shall wake up and sleep again. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you. This has been a really interesting conversation. This has been African Student Voices and we were discussing the impact of strike actions on students' academic performance. You can follow um, our social media handles, Association of African Universities on Facebook and YouTube, AAUTV underscore African Universities on Twitter, and AAUTV Official on Instagram. See you same time next time. Bye.